Protocols. Let's see, can we remember, we looked at this briefly last year. What's a protocol? Protocol. Ah, good. It's a set of rules. Everyone needs to agree on it, right? Uh, like, say, the Kyoto Protocol. It's like, okay, every, we'll set up a set of rules. Everyone has to abide by it, okay? Or Ghost Protocol or whatever, okay? So, why do we need a protocol on a network? On a network. Uh, why would we need a protocol where data has to be sent back and forth? Any suggestions? Why would we need a protocol? Hmm. Yeah, Adrian. Okay, good, good. Having no protocol is a little bit like everyone speaking a different language, okay? Uh, I'm not going to be able to communicate with you very effectively if we would have the same language. Even apart from that, even apart from what you want to communicate, thinking functionally, uh, remember, for example, let's think back to the uh, ring network. Uh, I told you before that in a, um, a ring network, uh, we usually have this thing called a token. Right? Uh, which gets passed around and uh, like a train which takes on passengers, when you've got data, you, you stick it on there and then off it goes around the network. Um, in fact, this is so common that they often call this not a ring topology but a token ring topology. Okay? Now, um, how do we govern who gets the data and how, and how it you know, arrives at the right destination? For instance, um, we could have that the data on there right, has an address. Okay, and as it goes around from node to node, each node checks what's written on the front. Okay, and says, "Oh, okay, this is my address, or this is not my address. Therefore, I should open it or not open it." So that protocol there, which governs the the kind of address that it's got, that needs to be agreed upon in all of the by all of the nodes, right? Because otherwise, what if two people think they have the same address, right? Because they haven't decided on the protocol for determining addresses. Okay, uh, then two sets of people are going to be opening the same set of data and going to get really confused. Okay. Um, you need a protocol on a network to make the network actually achieve its purpose. Okay, that's the key thing. Now, protocols, we were talking about, they make sure that people understand what's going on. They, they make sure that people, are, the data gets to its destination. Okay. But there's a specific part of network protocols which is very interesting on its own. And that's what we call collision handling. Collision handling. Okay. Uh, we mentioned data collisions very, very briefly yesterday. Which topology were we talking about that had data collisions to be talking about? Do you remember? It's one of the early ones. Jack, do you remember? Bus. bus that's exactly right. Now, why would a bus topology um, have collisions on it and therefore need a protocol for collisions? Why would it need that? What is it about the bus topology, as opposed to, say, the ring topology, that, that necessitates this? That needs rules for how collisions work? Hmm. Edwin, what do you think? Hmm. Anyone want to help them out? Yeah, good, good, good. Uh, what you've got is a common space where all the data is traveling along, right? So, in a bus topology, you have collisions. Therefore, you want to know how to handle them, right? So, the protocol has to include rules for that. Whereas on the ring, you're not going to have collisions. So, I mean, you suppose you could have a protocol for collisions, but they'll never happen. So, why bother? Okay. So, that's why it's needed for a bus topology, but not for a ring topology. Okay. Now, I'm going to describe for you one kind of protocol which has in it... Um, a set of rules for handling collisions. It's got a, a long, terrible, awful name, okay? Uh, but it's long and terrible and awful because it's very, very descriptive, okay? So its acronym is CSMA slash CD, okay? And what it stands for um, is included in the news post. So I'm going to try and describe, uh, define this protocol based on the individual parts, okay? So here's the way I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to start with the middle. <laughs> MA. The MA stands for multiple access. This is sort of another way of saying this protocol is designed for buses. Okay. 
is designed for networks where multiple people are accessing the same kind of space. Okay, so that's why this protocol doesn't make sense on a ring because you don't have um, media connections that multiple people can access. Right, in a ring, only one person can access this and send along it. Right, and only one person can access this and send along it. So it's not multiple access. This is for multiple access. Okay. Now, how does this multiple access system work? Well, it starts with what we call a carrier signal. A carrier signal. This is a signal that tells computers, I can carry your data. Hence, carrier signal. Okay. What is a carrier signal? Now, you guys actually um, deal with carrier signals all the time, probably, if you've got a home phone. Okay. What happens when you pick up your home phone? Um, when you want to start dialing, there's not no sound. There's actually a sound there. We give it a name. What's it called? What what what's when you pick it up? It's sort of like a sort of a hum. We call it a dial tone, right? A dial tone. What what does a dial tone mean? It means uh, you can dial, and it'll work. It'll do something. It'll accomplish something. I can receive your data and send it off to where it's supposed to be. The dial tone is a kind of carrier signal, okay? And you know you need it because if you picked up the phone and there was no sound, nothing, what would that mean? What would that indicate to you? It's disconnected. Yeah, it's disconnected. Probably your phone's not plugged in or like there's been a blackout. So somewhere along the cables, right, um, you're not getting the carrier signal that's being sent to you, okay? So there is a carrier signal, a dial tone. I'm going to illustrate this in a minute. Okay. Well, this last bit on the end, the slash means with, and the CD stands for collision detection. Collision detection. Okay, so this has rules for working out what does it look like when data collides. Okay, it can detect it and then it can deal with it. Okay, 